Hi, it's Stephen from Bland Designs, and today on the show I'm going to show you how to make this mini Christmas album using the envelope punch board. It's really simple, really kind of neat, so stay tuned. So this is my little mini Christmas album and it has a couple of uh, components to it and I'm going to teach you how to make each one of these components. First of all, just to take you through the mini album page by page, so you have the cover and then inside you've got the various uh, pages and each page contains a spot for some journaling and some embellishments. Now, just to back it up, I'm going to show you how to reuse your Christmas cards that we all get and we all throw out. I save mine. I think it's a waste of money. People send you a nice card and I've been looking for ways that I can recycle them. So this is what I've decided to do. What I've done is I've taken cards that have interesting uh, front picture on the cover and I've cut them out using my Cricut in various shapes and then I've backed them on a slightly larger background piece of paper and this becomes a spot where when you flip it over you could put uh, a picture or more journaling on here uh, and on this side just to give it a little bit of glam I used my stickles and just spread it with my finger around the backing uh, section and it's just light hits it the right way I don't know if it shows up in the camera it does give a little bit of sparkle I also edged the edges with a black ink uh, pad now I added a little pocket right here that was made with Graphic 54. The whole thing is Graphic 54, 12 days of Christmas paper. And I uh, just made a little pocket to hold this. And I also took some of the uh, messages inside of the greeting cards and cut them out. I uh, just used my paper trimmer, cut them out in a little rectangle. And uh, to add a little sparkle to it, I used uh, a Liquitex uh, paint marker, just went around as a border, backed it on a piece of off-white uh, cardstock. Uh, and then added a little bit of stickles on the edge for sparkle. So on the back of this, more pictures or journaling. And that's the basic theme that I did throughout the album. So you can see here, here's another pocket, and this one has a, a little slightly different shape. Looks like a Christmas ornament uh, for, again, pictures or journaling. Uh, here's a, another set, slightly different, and etc. You go from page to page. So it gives lots of room for uh, extra pictures and journaling. Now, the other thing that I really think is neat about this album are the little file folders that are tucked in. There's four of these tucked into the side. And again, each of these were made with the envelope uh, punch board. And what I did with these, and I hope it's in the shot, I just added an embellishment to the front uh, for more journaling or a picture. And inside, there's a spot a little frame. Each one has a little frame that I left open at the top so you can slide in a picture. And in here is another card. Could be a picture on here. It could be a journaling, journaling element. But the neat thing about this is what I use for the pocket. And this is how I use those Christmas cards again. What I did was I cut out a picture from the front of a card, trimmed it around the edges, glued it on three edges to make it into a pocket, and you just slide this little tag right in there. On the back of each one, I created a library card pocket using my Cricut. And again, another embellishment on here. So this is another spot where they can stick a picture or whatever. Um, you don't want to make your embellishments in this too thick because you can see it doesn't really close all that well. And we'll be talking about how to hinge it uh, in a few minutes. The other little tip that I want to give you, and this is kind of a secret between the two of us, that... Uh, I'm kind of cheap when it comes to buying my supplies. I like to get the biggest bang for my buck. So I may see some embellishments already pre-printed on sheets of cardstock or, or uh, chipboard. And what I do before I actually use them is I put them in my scanner. I scan them and then I have all of this available to me at any time that I want it and I can cut them out. Not only that, but if I scan them, I can put them through uh, something like Photoshop's Element or any graphic uh, editing program and I can make them smaller or bigger or add things to them. So I get a lot of bang for the buck uh, doing that. Of course, I, manage, many, I imagine that the manufacturers of these kind of things get maybe a little upset with that since that means I'm not buying them as regularly as I could be. But that's our secret. Okay. 
So this is how to you create this little mini album and I'm going to show you the process with that. So what you're going to need is cardstock and you're going to need your envelope punch board. So stay tuned for those instructions coming up next. Okay, to assemble your uh, album, you need to take each of your squares and put them together. So I have written lots of things on these squares. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's just as a guide for me so I don't screw this up. Okay, so you've got envelope number one. And you've got envelope number two. Open up the left flap on envelope number one. Sorry, the right flap on number one and open up the left flap on number two and insert the flap from number two underneath these two flaps in envelope number one. Just close everything, line it up square, shut it, then turn it over and you see you've got this flap here. Bend that flap back. Now what you've just created between these two envelopes is a pocket. So you're going to take envelope number three and you're going to open up the right flap and you're going to stick that right flap into the pocket that I just showed you. So it just slides in there like that. Close it up. Now, just turn it over. Got another pocket here. Take envelope number four. Open up the left flap. Insert that into that pocket, close everything up, fold it over, and there you go. So sort of squared up, you might want to go over it with your bone folder again, just to give it a good crease. And then, if you notice, when you open it up, you have each of the sections. However, it's all going to fall apart because it's not glued. So we need to glue it. So, in order to glue it, let me get it lined up here. Turn it over so that your front page looks like this. And there's one of these flaps. You know, as I put glue, it says put glue on this. So you can use sticky strips, score tape, uh, whatever, regular glue. I'm just using a tape runner. And I'm just going to glue that flap down. Make sure it's all lined up. And then the other flap, I'm going to do the same. Oh, wouldn't you know, I just ran out of tape in my tape runner. Okay, so you're going to put some tape on this flap, fold it over, and then you're going to seal this one. But you're not going to seal those solidly because this is what's going to form the little pocket that the file folders are going to go into. So just fold up the bottom, put just a little glue on the tip, and fold the top one down. Now you see what you've created in here is a pocket. Now this is going to be covered up with a piece of patterned paper, so you're not going to see all of this, but it will create the pocket. Okay, carrying on, you open it up, and now I want a, 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 a tricky spot. Open up these flaps, oh sorry, open up these flaps, and you see you've got three of these right now. So this is what you have to do. Take the first flap of the three, put some glue on it, and stick it down. Now make sure everything is lined up under here, and stick that down. And then you're going to put glue on the second flap. Make sure it's all lined up, squared as best you can. Just line up the flaps themselves, top of each other, and glue that down. And then the third one, we're going to do the same thing. Line it up. And glue it down. Put some glue on the opposite flap glue it down, and then the same thing to create the pocket. A little glue at the point of the bottom flap here. And I think she kind of got my glue a little off center. That's no, okay, this is just a demo model. And you're done with that. Now over here, you're just going to, you're going to take this flap, and you're going to glue it down, and then you're just going to put a little glue on the tip again of the bottom flap, put the top down, and so you've got two pockets right here on each side, so you see. Fold it over, and for the very last one, just glue on this flap, glue it down, a little on the tip, glue it down, 
and there you go. And your basic book is done. Now you may want to square it up a little bit as best you can because the pages do get a little out of line alignment. I don't know why that is. Maybe because the paper that I'm using is never ever nothing cuts them perfectly square. But like I said, you're going to be covering this so no one's going to notice. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you next in the next segment is how to cover up and reinforce your binding. Now, for the binding edge, you want to use a piece of coordinating paper uh, for your final product. And this is what I'm talking about. So you see on the basic, you have these little holes here, these pockets. So you want to cover those up. And this also reinforces the binding. So what to create that, you're going to take a piece of cardstock, uh, patterned or plain, whatever you like, and you're going to cut it two inches by five and a quarter inches long. Okay, so two inches by five and a quarter. And then you're going to score it for the um, spine itself. Now I'm using my scoreboard for this. Uh, you could simply do this with a ruler and your uh, bone folder, whatever. If you're using the scoreboard, the measurements are you're going to score it at seven eighths of an inch and then at one and one eighth of an inch. And so this creates sort of like a little trough here, if you can see that. And then you're just going to fold it over and give it a good score. Or not a good score, give it a good crease. And fold the other piece over and do the same. Obviously, I've done this already. And so what you have is a little piece that looks like this. And so what it does is you just stick it right in here. And then you can glue it down. And so it gives you a little bit of expansion on the back. back. Now, the video that I'm going to send you to shows a different method for doing this, uh, which is fine. Um, I like this method better. So glue it down on both sides using uh, good glue or using your score tape or whatever. And uh, you have your basic booklet done. So what we're going to do next is cover the pages. And I'll show you that. Now to cover your pages and to complete the pockets inside of your mini album, you're going to want to cut pattern paper five inches by five and a quarter inches. And you can use any kind of pattern paper that you like. Um, I used, obviously, because it's a mini Christmas album, I used Christmas paper, but you can also make other albums. You're not limited to Christmas, of course. So once you've cut these out, and you're going to need one for the cover, one for the back, and you're going to need one, two three, four, five, six more pieces, so eight in total, cut five inches by five and a quarter inches um, to cover up your book. So once you have them cut, you're going to align them. And because you've got this decorative border part here, I don't, I just have plain red, um, you can go right to the edge on the cover pieces on the front and the back. Um, you may have to you know, uh, wiggle the paper around a little bit to get it fit exactly. Uh, if you don't want a border, then uh, make your paper slightly bigger and then trim it. Or, you know, you could go around the edges and ink it. It doesn't really matter. And so here I'll show you on mine. You can see I went right to the edges. This also helps to cover up that little problem we might have with a piece of it sticking out. But as I said, once we make the file folders, that's not going to show up. So you do that. And on the inside. Now, just be careful when you glue the paper down on the inside. Where you're going to put the glue is just on this top and bottom flap because this is going to make your pocket. So you put a little glue there, put a little glue there. Do not put it on these parts or you won't have a pocket. And then you'll glue it down and that will create your pocket. And so if I show you on the one that I made, just take the envelope out for a minute. See, the paper is glued down here, but inside, that creates the pocket, okay? So that's all you need to do through the whole thing. So when I come back, I'm going to show you how to make the file folders. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how you make the little file folder inserts that go in here, these kind of things. And I'm going to talk about how you cut these out using your punch board. So get your envelope punch board out 
and you're going to need a strip of construction paper, whatever color, doesn't matter, that measures eight and a half inches long by four and a quarter inches across. And what you're going to do is you'll take this, let me put that over here, fold it in half, or you could score it and then fold it, whatever, and give it a good crease. And then using your paper trimmer, get mine out here, using your paper trimmer, cut off half an inch from one of the panels. So just put it in, measure it up, and trim off half an inch. Okay, so your final piece of paper, folder, is going to look like this, one edge shorter. Might be a little off, sometimes my trimmer cuts a little crooked, that's okay, I'll just straighten it up and give it a good fold. Okay, now you're gonna take your envelope punch, and you're gonna take this, open it up, and take the short end first, short piece, flap, put it into your punch, and just line the edge up here with your, the point of your score guide, okay? And give it a punch. Then slide it over, and so this point matches up with the two and a half inch mark, and give it another punch. So it's gonna look like this. Turn it around, and do exactly the same thing. Line up the edge with the score guide, punch it, slide it over so that point matches up with two and a half inches, and punch. So there, that's your basic file folder, but now we gotta do some trimming. So, take out your paper trimmer, open this up, and you see these points I'm talking about right here, okay, in these little valleys? You want to line the edge of your paper trimmer along the bottom, right at the bottom of those two valleys. So put it in. You kind of have to eyeball it here. And then all you're going to do is cut off that first little piece and then cut off that little point. Don't cut the tab because what you're basically doing is you're making the tab. So you can see here, I have my tab. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other end. So line it up so the valleys are right along the cutting line, cutting track. Take off that bottom piece, take off that top piece, and there you have. Now the last finishing touch for this is to round off this corner and round off that corner. So your, you can use any kind of corner round for this. I'm just going to use the envelope punch board for it because it has a corner punch here. So I'll put in the far end, punch it, flip it around, far end, punch it, and there we have the basic envelope. Now, if you don't like, like for example here, I'm looking a little uneven on along the top here, so I can just take my scissors and I can just trim those little pieces off. And I could do the same here, but for now I'm just gonna leave that. So there you go. However, what you want to do before, well, there's two ways you can do this, okay? Before you cut out the tab marks on here, you can cut out a couple of sheets of patterned paper and one is going to go on the outside of the envelope, get the right one here, this one, and one's going to go on the inside. And you'll want to do these, trim them, one piece, the one for the outside is going to be four and three quarter inches by four and an eighth inch, and I'm lying, that's the inside piece, okay, that's the piece that's going to go in here. The outside piece is going to measure four and three quarters by three and three quarter inches. But you want to put those on first. When you first fold this in half and after you've trimmed off that little half inch piece, you want to glue these onto the panels because then when you punch it, the whole panel is going to come out with pattern paper. If you see on my example here, you notice. Now you could do it 
a little shorter if you want, if you want this to be a different color up here. That's up to you. But I like it all one color, so I put my pieces on first, and then I did the punching on the envelope punch board to finish it off. Now, there's another design that I use where the tabs are in a little different spot, so I'm going to show you how to do that next. To create the two middle file folders in here, I want the tabs to be offset from the first one. So we'll take one out, and you can see that the tabs are more towards the center than to the ends, uh, like the other one. So how do you create this? Well, basically, you do the same thing. You take a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half by four and three quarter inches across. You cut off on one end a half an inch, so you have this again. And this time, on your punch, open it up and place the edge of the paper at the one inch mark on the measuring part of the uh, punch. So line it up there, give it a punch, and then move over to the two inch mark, but right at this edge. So this edge at here at the top, you're going to line up with the two inch marking on the punch board and give that a punch. And then you're just going to turn it around and you're going to do exactly the same thing again. Line up the edge with one inch mark, punch it, line up the very top of this little cut at the two inch mark and give it a punch. And now, this time, it's going to look like this. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to put it into your paper trimmer and cut off this part and this part this part and this part in the same manner as we did before where you line it up with the cutting track. So place it into your punch, line up the bottom with that. That's my email going off by the way. I forgot to put it on mute while I was making this video. So cut that off. Cut off the top part. Flip it around. Line it up. Cut off the little bottom part, cut off the little top part, and there you have the next one. Again, the measurements for the covering paper are the same as in the uh, for the first file folder, and you can corner around the edges. In this case, um, I corner around uh, both edges, so. Get out your punch. Actually, do the one that's longer because one won't fit in as well as the other. So the longer one of the two is the one that you punch. And I didn't do a very good job on the punch of that one, so let me give that a try again. That's better. And so I know it's difficult to see because it's both the same color, but you have a punch here. You have the corner rounded here, corner rounded there. And you're done. Now you make two of these. They both go into the center. Now if you wanted to, I suppose you could experiment with this and move the next tab over a little bit more. But you don't have a lot of space to work with, so I didn't bother. But then I made the last folder. And the last folder is exactly like this, except in reverse. So the, um, sorry, show you the right one. It's exactly the reverse of this one, except that your tab is on the opposite side. So you just use the same markings except on the reverse side to get the tab up at the front. Okay, as simple as that. So just to sort of review what these all look like, let me pull them out, all four, so you can get a better look of how they stack together. So this is our first one, this is a middle one, this is another middle one, so they're exactly the same, and then the last one which was the first one in reverse, and you see, tab, 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 tab. Just like that. Spread it out here for you to have a better look. Okay, that's simple. When I come back, I'm going to just talk a little bit more about finishing the album off. Okay, so now you've got the basic album made, you've covered the pages, you've made the file folders and that kind of thing. Just some finishing touches. You already know what I've done with the Christmas cards 
for making my uh, photo uh, backgrounds and journaling backgrounds and creating little pockets and those can be done in any manner you see fit. Um, I did add some ribbon in different parts of this as you can see and I punched a little hole at the top here and put a little piece of ribbon in just so that I had ribbons coming out from the side because I kind of like that look. I also added a little tag that I printed on the computer and then cut out uh, here on the um, tab and I just put a little seasonal message. I don't know if you can read it here or not. This one says joyful times. Others say happy holidays, that kind of thing. And uh, as far as the cover is concerned, you can do whatever you like with that. I was using the Graphic 45 paper so I cut out this one strip and put uh, dimensional squares under it to raise it up. I then used some Prima flowers. Um, these ones were already pre-dyed. I just layered two, one smaller on top of a bigger one uh, in the Christmas colors. And I added uh, a little snowflake brad. And just to give it a little bit of glimmer, I added some stickles in around here. And this is a pre-made embellishment. And this little bow I got at the dollar store. Put it all together and it's all finished. I think this would make a very nice little gift at Christmas time for a friend or even a hostess gift at a party. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video and if you have any comments leave them below. Thanks. Bye bye.